coast to coast to coast, tonight Canadians rejected division and negativity. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau stressed a newly won mandate from Canadians despite winning fewer than half the seats and being wiped off the map in Alberta and Saskatchewan. The mood at Liberal Party election headquarters in Montreal moved from cautious optimism to jubilation throughout the evening as the results started making it clear the Liberals had managed to squeeze out another victory. To those who voted for our party, thank you for putting your trust in our team. Thank you for having faith in us to move this country in the right direction. And to those, and to those who did not vote for us, know that we will work every single day for you. We will govern for everyone. And regardless of how you cast your ballot, Ours is a team that will fight for all Canadians. And to Canadians in Alberta and Saskatchewan, know that you are an essential part of our great country. I've heard your frustration, and I want to be there to support you. Let us all work hard to bring our country together. Here at home, there was a good local voter turnout for the 2019 federal election. Of the 66,235 registered voters in Sault Ste. Marie, 41,267 people cast a ballot. Liberal incumbent MP Terry Sheen is back to represent Sault Ste. Marie with 39% of the vote, 32.4% went to the Conservatives' Sonny Spina, and 22.6% of eligible voters marked their ex for the NDP's Sarah McCleary. We caught up with Sheehan after his victory. Wife Lisa, Riley, and Kate, who uh, now is in uh, uh, back in Ottawa in school. I mean, they were totally devoted. All of my family, all of my friends, all of my volunteers. Um, it was amazing. Like morning, noon, and night, the contributions of these volunteers. It just makes me want to work a little harder. You know, whatever they give, I want to give twice as much. And they were an amazing team. Did you ever question tonight's results? I mean, Sunny was a, a very good c candidate for the Conservatives, <laughs> and um, uh, you know, he put. Your feet to the fire. You know, he was, and so was Sarah, and I was very impressed with both of them, and uh, including the uh, uh, um, Amy and, and as well as Gio. Um, you know, we did probably around 11 uh, different candidate forums, and, um, you know, I, I think that uh, they should all be complimented, and the people around them should be complimented for um, putting forward. And I do believe in democracy. Democracy is the best, the very best system that we have. At 1.50 this morning, Conservative opposition leader Andrew Scheer said his party is Canada's government in waiting despite losing the election to Justin Trudeau's Liberals. Scheer said when Trudeau first won back in 2015, he looked unstoppable. But he says Conservatives have now put Trudeau on notice. This is how it starts. This is how it starts. This is the first step. And now we are heading back to Ottawa with a much bigger team, with more support from coast to coast, and with an endorsement from the Canadian people that we are the government in waiting. Coming in behind Sheehan for the number two spot was local Conservative candidate Sonny Spina. On TV caught up with Spina in a media scrum after the final numbers came in. Yeah, and that's why we're here today. Uh, you know what, there's a lot of things that you do learn along the trail. One thing is for sure, there's no replacement for hard work. Getting out there and actually meeting people, uh, there was a lot of value in that. One of the things I learned, and this is the most important thing I can tell you, and I want to make this clear to every future politician there ever is. When I went door to door, 90% of the things that I heard, the concerns I heard from people, were not related to federal issues. But that doesn't mean we weren't able to help those people at their door with their issues. We were able to stop what we were doing, take some time, make some phone calls, and find resolutions to problems that they had that had been going on for a while. Now, if every politician in our country took some time to go to every door and find a little problem that their little communities were facing, little parts of the community were facing, we could really do a lot of good in our communities. And that's something that I really hope everyone takes from this and moves forward doing. How would you describe the campaign? 
what was your first? Yep, this campaign for me was incredible. Our team was nothing short of inspiring. These folks came out every single day. I mean, if you look online, you're going to see photos of us drenched in rain. We, you know. When I told them that I was going to keep walking despite the rain, every one of them said, well, I'm here too. And they walked for eight hours in the rain with me. They didn't care. This campaign was nothing short of inspiring. But I mean, in terms of the other candidates, in terms of uh, a hard campaign, it, 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 I don't think it got nasty or anything. No. Like well, it, you know, uh, you if, you, if you were to look back, we actually did 11 different debates. And if you were to look back at any one of those debates, I think you'll find that everybody acted uh, uh, admirable, admirably. Everyone acted, uh, treated each other with respect, and everyone allowed each other to make their points, make their thoughts, and continued on making their own points.